चेसिस इज बेसिकली ए फ्रेंच टर्म एंड वी नो दैट द चेसिस इज द मेन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए कार मीन्स जस्ट लाइक अवर ह्यूमन बॉडीज the bones without bones we cannot do anything so like that chassis is also the bone of a car it's basically fresh and uh, it was initially to denote the frame parts or basic structure so what what are the components installed in the chassis system number 1 you can see here suspension that is front spring rear leaf spring that means suspension suspension is one of the component which is installed in the chassis and it contains also chassis part next the engine part this is engine you know the engine is the power power generation unit of a car uh, so engine is also mounting on the chassis frame now next transmission unit and uh, gearbox mainly gear transmission unit are consisting of gearbox propeller stem differential and uh, clutches also so this gearbox is the main component of a transmission system which is also installed in the chassis frame now one more thing that is the steering system this is steering steering means you all know that the it can controls the car easily in as as per the requirement of the drivers so steering system is also installed in the chassis and uh, braking system there is not the picture of a braking so braking system is also installed in chassis frame so engine chassis suspension transmission unit and also braking unit so these five main components are installed in the chassis frame now body body is totally different thing from the chassis body is attached with the chassis to get a shape of a car like bus body lorry body tipper body but chassis you can use the same chassis in a tipper in a bus in a truck everything so chassis is the main component of a car or vehicle okay understand now there are some nomenclature are also here like here you can see on the here you can see the chassis it is the chassis frame okay this is the chassis frame and here
there are two members one is this longitudinal member and another is cross member these members are called the cross members it may be like straight may be like crossways may be like this but all members are known as cross member so these red colors are the cross members and these yellow colors are the side members okay there are two types of members used in a chassis frame okay one is horizontal member or cross member another is side member or longitudinal member okay now we are going to the next part so chassis is the backbone of a car without a good strength quality chassis a car cannot move fast or maybe not safe the chassis is also one kind of safe your drive or safe your journey now the next slide before some sometimes i was talking that the we can that the we can use different type of body in a chassis like you can see that in this kind of chassis you can make this this kind of chassis this kind of chassis you can make that truck and also buses or also tipper also this kind of special types of truck this is normal types of trucks and also buses so chassis is most important part of a vehicle now this is the body this is the car body first one is the car body second one is a straight truck body third one is also a truck body fourth one is also a truck body trailer this one is called the trailer this called the trailer you can put an extra articulated type of extension with this trailer and you can extend your load taking capacity or increase your profit also business profit also by buying or uh, by transporting much more amount of goods at a time so you can get much more profit than the normal truck in case of trailer or articulated type of tra trailer this is also a trailer a special types of special purpose this is also special by purpose of a truck special purpose truck and this is a this is dumper or tip trailer this is dumper or tip trailer so you can here here is a In this point, in this means here, a hydraulic lifter, a hydraulic lifter is also 
attached here and with the help of this hydraulic lifter the drivers move or uh, drivers can move the tipper to the upward direction so at that time the tipper will tipper will taking this point taking this location and the gate or tail of this tipper and the tail of this <laughs> and the tail side of the tipper is tail gate is open and the material are discharged into that way that is the function of a tip tailor so body is body function is also important as per your transportation type and also your purposes and necessity but uh, the chassis frame is very important and constructive the backbones of a car we should always a good company is always try to improve their chassis quality to sustain their car car model now the type of is types of chassis as per the classification there are types according to the control according to the chassis frame and according to the engine location these are the main three types of chassis classification so the number one is according to their control number two the engine location and number three is according to the chassis okay now the class uh, according to the control or driver's control so in the first case you can see that a drive in modern trucks what you have seen the drivers is drivers view is very clear so drivers can get so drivers can get the larger angle of vision during the driving condition so in that case the main in the in the driver control in three cases you can see that
you can see that the engine location we are denoting the engine location with in respect of driver's cabin look at the engine location this is engine and this is driver's cabin this is in this is driver's cabin this is driver's cabin this is engine. so we are classifying this control basis chassis classification so we are considering the two parameters one is driver's cabin another is engine location now so i am talking about the driver's view so Hmm. Oh, first of all, so this is the three types of chassis classification. Uh, three types of classification in the according to the uh, according to the driver's control. So number one is conventional chassis, another is semi-forward chassis, and last one is the third one is the full forward, full forward, semi-forward, and conventional. These three types of chassis are classified according to the driver's control now the driver's angle So this is the driver's angle is changing these three types of chassis consideration. In first of all, the full in the full forward chassis, the vision angle driver is much more greater than the semi-forward type chassis and also conventional types of chassis. Now modern track are using this full forward chassis which is used in modern vehicle this is used in modern vehicle this is also used saloon car or sedan this or so 
position angle are changing in both cases uh, in three cases like convergence for uh, full force semi-forward now the engine location in case of full forward chassis the engine is totally located inside the driver's cabin this drive this engine is totally located at the drive inside the driver's cabin in case of semi forward chassis this is driver seven engine is located a part of the engine is located inside the driver's cabin but not hundred percent okay so some of the engine is located inside the driver's cabin such kind of chassis is called the semi forward chassis semi forward chassis is tata char shoshat shaktiman okay these are the examples of the semi forward type of chassis now conventional type of chassis in the conventional type of chassis this is the first cabin the engine is totally located outside the driver's cabin such kind of chassis is known as the conventional type of chassis okay so as the classification according to the Driver control the chassis is conventional type of chassis. Another is forward chassis and full forward chassis. Only located inside the driver's cabin. In the semi-forward type chassis, engine is located. Here. Some part of the engine is located inside the driver's cabin, and in conventional type of chassis the total engine is located in front of the driver's cabin these are the main difference between three types of chassis now as per the engine location so we can classify this chassis according to the engine location there is there is also three types one is engine fitted at the front that means the front mounted engine engine fitted at the rear is the rear mounted engine and another kind of engine fitted at the center that means the, the, the this is called the mid mid engine mounted chassis so according to the engine location there are also three types okay front mounted engine rear mounted engine and mid mounted engine now chassis frame
so according to the chassis frame now the types of chassis according to the chassis frame there are three three types according to the chassis frame three types of chassis according to the chassis frame number one conventional frame number two integral frame and number three is semi integral frame there are also two types one is conventional integral and semi integral these are the main three types of chassis component according to the chassis frame <coughs> what is the co conventional frame i show this is basically a conventional type of chassis frame that means there is side member or longitudinal member are fitted with horizontal member or cross member by means of nuts and bolt nuts bolt and rivet joints and joints so this is the conventional type of chassis frame this conventional type of chassis in this conventional type of chassis frame we can see that there are two longitudinal members longitudinal members is always two number that means two longitudinal members are used we cannot use three longitudinal members or four four longitudinal members or side members not like that we can use only two longitudinal members and the five to six cross members or horizontal members that means two longitudinal member and approximate for a truck that is five to six longitudinal members we can use in a conventional type of chassis frame so there are three types of sections are used in um, in conventional uh, frame sections one is uh, channel section another is tubular section and another is number third is box section channel section it can uh, resist good good re resisting squal uh, resistance quality and uh, bending quality also good for the channel section but in case of tubular section we can uh, we can achieve the good resistance to torsion it can resist the torsion but if we use the box section in the box section the both bending and torsion resisting properties are applicable in box section now the integral type of frame integral types of frame are that means all assembly units are attached to the body itself due to L all all parts of the body is attached to the chassis frame itself means there is no separation chassis frame is the body of a car so due to this elimination that means the weight reduction so weight is weight is drop huge weight drop are noticeable in the in that type of frame integral type of frame okay so 
uh, weight loss means it can get uh, it, it can provide the much more fuel economic car and one more thing costing is also reduced and power to weight ratio is also increased that means it is almost beneficial for a car but one disadvantage is also here one is weight weight reduction weight reduction is good but repairing procedure or repairing uh, job is uh, is too much difficult rather than the conventional types of frame so repairing is much more difficult in case of accidental case or any damage case so repairing is very tough job for integral type of frame now the semi integral frame what is semi integral frame in 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 that type of semi semi integral frame the can can the picture this this front portion are made by conventional chassis frame that means in the drivers drivers cabin and the front portion are made by the conventional type frame but the rear portion are made by the integral frame so combination of two, two types are applicable so combination of both integral and com conventional frame is called the semi integral frame what is advantage of the semi integral frame the main advantage of semi integral frame is the time at the time of accidental repair when the when a car is move when a when a car is move, move um, head on um, face the head on collision accident in that case the driver's cabin and front portion of the car is much more damaged than the rear portion of the car at that time if we repair the repair or replace the front axles uh, front axle of the side members cross members of the frame at the front part that means the conventional part so repairing process is much more easier than the integral type of frame so it will be much more easier than the re repairing than the integral type of frame okay so half frame is fixed in the front end that means engine gearbox suspensions Ah, the front portions. So at at the time of accident, tell me, you can remove the front uh, side uh, front frames and repair the car easily. So this is the chassis types of chassis according to the chassis frame. Okay. Uh, next load various loads are also used or applied to the chassis frame when a car is moving on a road different kinds of loads are coming or impacting on the vehicle like short duration load momentary duration load impact load inertia static load overload okay this fast pipes are 
not in our hand or not in the driver's hand that is the fundamental of a car car movement and the physics fundamental of a car movement but the number 6 load is totally man made load okay that is over load it is the giving load on a car beyond the design car design capacity so number 1 the short duration load what is short duration load while the when the car moving on a broken patch like that at that time the short impact suddenly impact is coming on the vehicles or the means the vehicle chassis that is the short duration load another is momentary load momentary duration load why when vehicle is moving the tar moving a turn while when uh, vehicle is moving uh, taking the turn that means some lots of force are acting on the chassis like centrifugal force is also acting at that time and also the tractive effort is different for different wheel that means the inner wheel tractive effort is not similar to the uh, uh, outer wheel tractive tra tractive effort that means the huge impact is also imposing on the chassis frame so momentary duration load is also important now the impact load what is impact load that is the at that time uh, impact load is mainly due to the accident when a car when a truck or car is collided uh, head head on collided with a, a another truck or it struck with a building or uh, any tree like that at that time the huge impacts are coming at the front side of the chassis okay so this kind of huge load is also is, is has to calculate for a designer to save the vehicle and also save the passengers of a car okay so this is also one kind of important uh, types of load which is acting on a car not all time but at at the accidental time this this kind of impact loads are imposing on the vehicle truck now the inertia load while while a car when a car is uh, moving uh, 50 to 60 km per hour speed a driver suddenly push push the brake and car is stopped within 10 10 feet or 20 feet or 30 feet okay so at that time huge impact loads are also um, imposing on the vehicle uh, chassis so such kind of inertia load has also be calculated for the engineer uh, for the design engineers now the static loads static what are the static loads chassis contains huge huge weight uh, and the uh, maximum car components like engine engine uh, chassis uh, engine transmission unit gearbox propeller shaft uh, differential suspension systems and um, and also the body load 
these are the basic loads of a car and all uh, uh, design engineers has also be calculated the also also calculate the passengers loads or goods loads as as per the car design so these are also including the static loads so how many loads are there one is short duration load number 2 is momentary duration load number 3 is impact load number 4 is inertia load and number 5 is static load and number 6 is overload overload is totally man made load and it it is this kind of load cannot be calculated at the time of design okay so overload overload is prohibited you all know that it is uh, it is harmful or it can harm the vehicle vehicle part chassis engine gearbox tires and also the roads okay so such uh, these are the various loads of a on a chassis frame so this is uh, this is my today's topic basics of chassis types of chassis and kind of what kind of loads are acting on the chassis okay okay thank you